Hey Fun and Emily, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today we are doing another randomizer chooses my puzzle video. I've done a couple of these already on my channel using different formats to figure out which puzzle to do next. And today we're kicking it old school and just having all of my puzzles in this tin. So I took my to-do list, printed it out, cut them up and that is how I'm going to decide which puzzles to do this week. I have about 150 little pieces of paper in here to choose from. My whole to-do list is at my disposal. It's all in here, except for just a couple that are new releases for brands. But other than that, it's all in here. And so I'm gonna call over my assistant and he is going to choose my next puzzle. That's, that's your cue. Oh, you're calling me over? Yeah. Okay. Oh. I'm turning it up and we'll see what comes of it. We may only have one puzzle in this video. We may have several depending on piece count. Here is my husband. <laughs> I'm just picking one? Yeah. Okay. Nope. Make sure it's a good one. Okay. Antelope. Antelope. Gem Mandala, 1,000 piece. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a newer one that I got. Okay, let me show you what it looks like. It is one of these guys, this one. How do you know right where it is? Cause it's this one. Wow. Here it is. It's that one. Good luck. Thanks. So it is a circular puzzle by Antelope. It's one of their newer collections and it looks super fun. It looks a little chaotic, but there's some words, there's some bigger sections. It's 1,000 pieces. I feel like this is going to be fun.
All right, so I am back with my tin of puzzles and we're just gonna see which puzzle I get next. Fingers crossed it's something smaller. I would love to do like a 500 piece puzzle right now. If I get a thousand piece one, I might just like do it tomorrow and do like something smaller today. Um, but let's just see what we got. Let's see, this one? Sun's Out Star Diner. Where is that one? Give me one sec. Well, this one looks super fun. It is 500 pieces, which is perfect. The artist is Joseph Burgess, and it's just like a really fun, like 1950s style image where it's like a diner with like these really fun cars and like this beautiful sunset sky. I think this one is going to be a good time. In the cracked up pavement, dandelions grew like a vow from a world that wouldn't let us down. On an empty schoolyard, the summer was new. We talked about bands and ways to leave this town. We laughed and lied, debated and confided, tried to fake it to get by. Back at Johnny's house, his folks were out. So I am back and I did finish the Star Diner puzzle and it was super fun. Like the sunset sky and I really like this more classic image and I like their piece shapes because it is like a ribbon cut but they're somewhat unique. Um, I did notice some quality issues though with the cutting of the puzzle. It had a lot of pieces that were either stuck to their partner or they had like extra cardboard and I would say almost as bad as that white mountain puzzle I did a long time ago. So. Wasn't my favorite, but I did like the end result and I have had good ones in the past. So that's my thought on this puzzle. And I was originally gonna do like another one or another pick, but I think right now I'm in the mindset where I'm like a little puzzled out. So I'm going to do some other puzzles that I'm just going to choose on my own. I really liked the two puzzles that I did. I love the antelope puzzle. That one is beautiful. And I'm really excited to do the other one from that same collection that I have, which is called Wormhole or something like that. Um, but right now I really am in the mindset of just doing a smaller piece count. I'm going to pick a puzzle on my own and we're just gonna do it together. I hope you don't mind. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And actually, I think the puzzle that I want to do is this one, which yes, this is a puzzle box. So this one is called Sewing Memories. It's 550 pieces by Eurographics and it comes with a super fun tin. And there is a really just sweet, more classic image of a sewing machine, very similar to this one and like a window and like, it looks like a nice, nice puzzle. So I'm going to do this one because I'd love to I don't have this off of the puzzle. I don't know if there's a, I hope there's a poster inside. 
Let's just open this up and see. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like up close. Super cute. I love the packaging. Obviously it's bulky and if you don't have the space, it's not going to work, but I think it's fun as like a piece of decor. Um, I am a little worried about this thing. I mean, it seems pretty sturdy enough, but you definitely can't like twist it or anything, or it's just like, there's a tiny little metal piece that's like keeping this on, but let's open this up and see how it looks inside. I'm sure it's just like their traditional Euro graphics puzzle, but I'm, I'm just curious. So let's just take a peek. All right, so it does have a poster, which is a good size. You know, it's not jumbo, but it definitely is big enough that you can see the details. I really enjoyed this one. You can see like the pattern that they're working on, which I feel like is super fun. I like the little butterflies and the frames. Like again, there's just lots to work from. So the pieces do look a bit smaller than your traditional Euro graphics, but they do look fun. They're more of a unique piece shape, not the typical ribbon cut that you'd see with a Euro graphics puzzle, um, but I like them. So this should be a fun experience. I'm excited for this one. So this is why I wanted to pick something that I wanted to do versus like getting something chosen for me because I'm excited to do this. And if I was like begrudgingly trying to make my way through a puzzle, I would have been like, oh, this is the worst. Um, where now I'm like excited. So that works out for me. So let's just do this puzzle together. And if I have any thoughts, I'll let you know.
I am back and finished the third puzzle. Just want to give you a quick little recap of this round of Randomizer Chooses My Puzzle video. And in general, I am pretty happy with how it turned out. I did end up losing steam and did not want to do another round of the just choosing at random, which is fine because for me, I really just want to make sure I'm doing puzzles and going through my collection and doing things that are exciting. And it just, I didn't want to leave it to chance. So I ended up doing something that I was really interested in that got me really excited to puzzle and it makes me want to like continue to puzzle afterwards versus if I chose something random like a 1000 piece tricky puzzle I may have like prolonged me doing the puzzle and then been like tired afterwards so it is what it is I'm happy with how this turned out out of the three puzzles my favorite was definitely this one from Antelope the gem mandala absolutely beautiful beautiful color really don't have any critiques for it whatsoever really enjoyed it it does have a paper backing that's the only thing I can think of but it really does not hinder the experience never had an issue I think if I had to go in order of like best to worst I would probably go I'd probably go to this one as like my second favorite for one packaging super cute this one was a little bit on the crumbly side but I could still move like a handful of pieces together at a time has some smaller pieces so if you are having some gripping issues that might be something to take into account um, because for me some of them were hard to grasp but in general, I really like this one and I like the final image. Super fun, love the crazy pieces. They're definitely like some variety in piece, shape, and size. And then third, it's not a bad puzzle whatsoever, which is the Star Diner, but this one definitely had some quality concerns and I hope they, it's just like a one-off, you know, um, but it's something to mention. So that's it for me today for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'd love if you let me know what you're working on or if you have other video ideas. I'm always open to other video concepts or something similar, um, but that's it for me. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Video. Bye guys.